Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you to all of you who have joined us for another segment in the Jane Irrigation Training Series. I'm Richard Rastusha, Vice President of Water Management Solutions. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about a, a new water management service for our ag customers uh, from Jane. Uh, and you know, we've seen in the past uh, lots of custom services for growers, uh, custom harvesting, custom planning, pruning. This is all part of uh, normal ag services, uh, but really water management hasn't been in there before at a very broad scale. I certainly know in the landscape industry, commercial buildings, for example, uh, they will contract out their energy services and we do see some companies doing water management services and landscape, but this really hasn't happened that much in the, uh, in the ag world. Um, today, we're very lucky. We've got Jeff Toole, who's the executive vice president of Jane Distribution Holdings in Fresno, California. And he's really the thought leader these days for the Jane um, Monitoring and Control Group. And, you know, Jeff's been involved in ag irrigation for over 17 years. Uh, he served on the Irrigation Association Board at the same time I was there a few years ago when Eric Olson, president of Jane, was also president of the IA. Um, he's really uh, put in a good portion of his professional life uh, dedicated to irrigation and water conservation. And we're really lucky to have Jeff back with us today. And Jeff, what big news? You have to be really excited about this. You know, Richard, I, there's, there's some... Uh, some, some holiday chocolates floating around the office uh, right now. And, and so I ate a few Reese's just to get, get, get a little sugar high before I get started. But I can tell you, I was, I was super excited. I honestly could not be more excited um, about today's uh, topic. It's, it's really Jane's ability to offer true uh, weather management services for agriculture. It's, it's been in the making for several years now. Um, and, it's, and it's really come together with the convergence of our artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning technology, as well as our partnership with AgriLogix. And then of course, uh, the incredibly talented staff uh, associated with our gene agricultural services team. So yeah, it's probably an understatement to say, I'm, I'm really excited about the, uh, the webinar today. Yeah, I certainly see it as a potential game changer and uh, that's <clears throat> always very exciting to me. So what, what are we gonna hear about today though, Jeff? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look. Um, Richard, we'll cover Jane's commitment to technology uh, evolution, and, and we'll get a we'll even get a little history lesson there um, while we're while we're at it. And of course, uh, we'll dive into the water management services. And then I want to talk briefly about how we've changed our approach um, in striving to become trusted advisors for our growers and our dealers. Um, and then, of course, I, I save the best for last. Uh, with some pretty compelling uh, year-end specials. Yeah, I've seen those year-end specials, Jeff, and they are really compelling. So uh, anyway, let's, uh, it all sounds very good. Let's get started. Let's go. So uh, let's, let's, we'll start with our short uh, history lesson. I know we've all heard the saying, a rolling stone gathers no moss. And uh, most don't know, and I, I certainly didn't, uh, that it originated in the early 1500s and originally meant uh, that a rolling stone referred to a wanderer unable to settle to, to any job uh, or lifestyle and therefore was characterized as, as unreliable and unproductive. The old thought was that, that one had to be stationary in order to gain wisdom and accumulate wealth and it wasn't until uh, around 100 years ago or so uh, that the modern in interpretation literally turned the saying uh, on its head, now meaning that it's a person or entity uh, must stay active in order to avoid stagnation. So literally, literally the opposite. So uh, Jeff, I, I like history, right? And I am a history buff, but uh, what, what does this have to do with uh, the subject today about irrigation and water management? Oh, you're just, you're just leading, right, leading me right into the, the solutions here. So I'm, I'm glad you asked. Um, you know, one thing's for sure, I can say that, that Jane has no moss. Um, you know, when you look at the rest of the industry, these are some pretty astounding accomplishments. Uh, in the last five years, We've logged over 40,000 man hours of development time on, uh, on new features. 
and I, I'm you heard it right. That's 40,000 man hours in the last uh, five years. And during this time, we've had 24 releases of the Gene Logic dashboard and 13 releases of Observant Global. And, and these releases are not just uh, a bunch of bug fixes. These releases have resulted in more than 300 new features and enhancements. And, uh, and I'm proud uh, to say that these are not just our programmers making new features up. Um, we see that sometimes. Every one of them is based on feedback from our users and our mission to stay ahead of the rest of the industry. And, and frankly, it's why Gene Logic is considered the industry standard when it comes to uh, agronomic applications and user friendliness. And uh, just, just to highlight uh, a few of the notable um, developments, our soil moisture um, infiltration widget is really one of a kind. Um, we've incorporated ETC forecasting into our irrigation scheduler, added a fully customizable KC curve, provided uh, soil uh, moisture root zone metrics. We've even added uh, a nice app that gives you directions to your sites uh, if you need help finding your, finding your sites. And of course, everyone has heard about the new uh, Pulse uh, pump station monitoring uh, system and that application as well as our recent uh, satellite imagery and analytics that I'll be talking a little bit more about uh, in a few minutes. And then we've also released uh, some advanced scheduling tools and, um, and we can provide a complete uh, over the internet valve and pump control uh, using the Nelson wireless twig system. So we're fully integrated um, with, with the Nelson system there. And that's, that's a big deal for a lot of our, our users. And uh, Richard, we are, we are still, still, ro still rolling here. Um, huge investment. We've recently invested over a million in our new Jane 2.0 data center. Um, it's, it's really, it was, it's, a, it's, I can't stress enough how significant of an investment that is to ensure our system performance, our reliability, and data security remain well far ahead of our competitors. And, um, you know, for those of you listening in today uh, that are GeneLogic users, you've probably noticed the increased uh, speeds on data refresh rates. I'm, I'm sure you have. I've had people comment to me about that. And we're now doing sub-second data storage and processing, and the system can scale to any number of users. We basically can infinitely scale the, the system. And just to give an example of, of how significant the improvements are, um, we were processing about two and a half million readings per day back in 2015. And today we are processing an average of 26 million. That's a, that's a 10X increase um, with faster than ever before re, uh, refresh rates. So we're, we're processing 10 times more and doing it faster. And the team, the team that did this, uh, Ryan and his group, they're super proud of these three decimals. A lot of people that, that aren't in the uptime industry, those three decimal places, uh, believe it or not, are a big deal when, uh, when measuring uptime. And um, kind of to top it all off, I wanted to show you know, here that, that Gene leads uh, the industry in acquisitions with, with a really impressive portfolio of the top tech companies in both the ag and landscape industry. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I'd like to say congratulations. I, I see it on your, your screen there to, to you and your team at ET Water. Um, their Unity product just won the People's Choice Award for Landscape Specialty Products by the Irrigation Association. So, so well done uh, on that. And, you know, Richard, you might ask, why is all this important? You know, it's, uh, nobody likes to, to, to talk about this, but we've, We've all seen the unfortunate turnover in ag tech companies over the past several years, and they've honestly left behind uh, a mountain of stranded investments by, by growers. And, you know, the bottom line, no investment in ag technology is safer than it is with, uh, with Jane Logic. Well, that's so true, uh, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, thank you for mentioning the uh, Jane Unity. It was a 
incredible team effort by, uh, by the whole Jane team. So uh, th thanks for mentioning that. Um, and then I did want to say that the speed of Jane logic, um, oftentimes I've been in at trade shows when we could do trade shows before and people would want to do like live demos. And I'm always, you know, nervous with live demos because you never know what's going to happen. And right. uh, I was always impressed at the speed of uh, Jane logic and how well that worked. Now, this is all pretty complicated, all the uh, product offerings now, what does uh, what and how to use it. It's all uh, pretty, pretty complicated. How, how are growers going to figure this all out? You know, uh, it's, it's a good question. It does look look complicated, but uh, this this little guy uh, right here, uh, that's our trusted advisor, you know, working in partnership with growers and water advisors. And, and that will make this process very easy to understand and, and more importantly, easy to implement. Plus, if I do a half decent job uh, today presenting, everyone uh, will realize the complicated part is all taken care of by Gene Logic and our partner AgriLogics. You know, in its in its simplest form, we're observing the plant response throughout its phenological cycle using high resolution satellite imagery, imagery while monitoring the weather, the soil moisture conditions, and irrigation events. You know, there's a lot going on here, but uh, but with the power of of Gene. Uh, Logic's cloud, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, we've really boiled it down to these four inputs in order to produce a smart irrigation schedules. Yeah, and that, that all makes sense. And we've got a couple of questions coming in here that I want to touch on. But um, you know, one thing's for sure is we know we can't really farm from the office. That, that doesn't work. So uh, how does the field information make it into the equation? And who ultimately decides on how much do I water? Well, you know, we definitely can't farm from the office and I would never want to want to imply that, um, you know, the grower, his irrigators, crop advisors, you know, they will all uh, provide field input and drive the decisions just, just as they always have. As a matter of fact, um, we'd love to invite water managers, PCAs and other consultants to work directly with us. Uh, that's why this little icon, that's why this little icon says partnership. It might be a, a small icon here, but it's a huge part of the success factor. The, the Gene Trusted Advisor will make uh, specific irrigation recommendations you know, using Gene Logic, really in order to build a bridge between the technology and those making the final decisions. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to understand this, uh, Jeff. So, will they use um, the information from Jane Logic, or will they not have it, and they'll have to rely on us? How, how is all that going to work? You know, frankly, uh, they won't need access to Jane Logic, but that's not consistent, you know, with our goal. Um, you know, every everyone the grower wants to have access to Jane Logic will get access. Our, our end game goal here is to teach the grower and their advisors how to use these tools so that they can eventually produce their own smart irrigation schedules. You know, of course, we'll offer water management services on an ongoing basis because we realize some growers may simply want to focus on, on the operation side of, of farming and leave the water management recommend, recommendations to, uh, to us. And, and, that, and that's fine. We'll, we'll partner with the grower or consultant in whichever direction uh, they, they want to take. And um, let's take a look at some of the, uh, some of the reports that we're going to generate from this. Yeah, you know, I do love that, Jeff, this whole concept of um, uh, teach me while you're doing it. I've got the confidence in you leading the way that I'm not going to slip up and make a big mistake. And I learn as I go and eventually I'll be able to, uh, to run on my own, right? Absolutely. So in this slide, um, we're, we're showing the cycle of what we just talked about uh, with a few samples of, of what we'll be using to make irrigation recommendations and to monitor uh, the results. We'll start in the, the top right here where you can see uh, an ATC uniformity image and an NDVI vigor image. You know, these, 
these are both image captures out of Jane Logic showing how AgriLogic satellite images are integrated seamlessly in Jane Logic. You can bore down into the data, uh, seeing the actual ETC and Vigor data, but that's that's not really relevant uh, for our discussion here. Um, you know, this this is where we will monitor plant response, noting progressions and changes in ETC uniformity, as well as changes in Vigor. We can see the plant's response to irrigation, weather changes, pest pressure, um, irrigation system issues, et cetera. Most, most everyone listening in today has probably seen the previous uh, webinars on using and interpreting AgriLogic's data. If you have not, I would really encourage you to check it out um, on, on the Gene website. So next we'll move uh, up to the upper left image here, which is a six month chart showing the actual crop water consumption uh, through the observed ETC in this, in this field. You can see uh, that since June, the water consumption has steadily gone down uh, all the way through yesterday, as we would expect uh, for, for almond trees. You know, each week, this data is updated um, for the prior week, giving us an indication of the water consumed uh, through transpiration and loss uh, due to uh, evaporation. Depending on the time of year, this, this should be the minimum amount of water that we need to put on to replenish what you know, the crops have, have taken out. Um, if we drop down to, to this, this chart, um, you'll see soil moisture. And in this case, I chose to look at an average in the target uh, uh, irrigation zone of 12, 12 to 36 inches. I chose a three month uh, chart just for illustrations for our presentation uh, today. And you can see uh, where they gave uh, the trees a few good irrigations you know, post harvest. And there's a little rain event in there as well. It really, this, this, this chart just gives us a, a good idea of where we're at in the root zone and in terms of, uh, in terms of moisture. So next, we would look down here um, at how we did at pushing the water down to our target uh, root zone using the infiltration chart. Here you can see a 24 hour um, event that pushed water down to about 30, 36 inches, which is right where you want it during the month of, of July. You can see a second irrigation event two days later. This is a little bit, it looks like a little bit of a, a shorter runtime and they still had enough moisture in the soil to, to push down to the 36 uh, inch level. This is, this is really a great tool to use to monitor or in, in, in terms of monitoring um, how efficiently the irrigation schedule is, uh, is actually working. And then kind of coming full circle, we have um, irrigation versus the actual ETC in this field. Um, this chart shows how you're doing year to date. And this grower did exceptionally well, honestly, much better, <laughs> uh, much better than most we see in terms of following the actual ETC. You know, here, here you see slightly over irrigated uh, relative to ETC in the early part of the year. They built up a nice uh, moisture profile in the, in the soil. And, and that allowed him to slightly under irrigate um, from about July uh, to basically basically harvest. So Jeff, this is really cool, right? It makes a lot of sense. It's just, it's, it's basic science, uh, maybe not basic, but it is science. Uh, how, how do our growers though, how, how do they benefit from this economically? Where does, where does that all fit in the equation? Right, can't just be all, uh, all pretty data and charts. Um, it, it's a good question. Based on what we routinely observe looking at several hundred growers over a few thousand fields with Jane Logic, this grower, I, I would estimate, saved roughly 15% in irrigation water by following the, the actual um, crop water consumption here, the, the ETC in his field. And, and you know, it's going to be a little funnier, as they would say, this is where the juice is. You know, so this is this is where the true true savings are. 
Um, in addition, by, by managing his irrigation schedule closely uh, to make sure he was keeping the water in, in, the, in the root zone and any costly nutrients that he applied you know, in this root zone, he saved on his fertility program as well. And, and when I say saved, I don't, I don't mean spent less. Really, he, he was ensuring what he did spend uh, was available to the, uh, to the plant. I've got a few, few more slides here um, on some of the other reports. I'll, uh, I'll keep going. This slide shows an example of the weekly schedule with, uh, with forecasted hours of runtime based on weather, um, ETC, and the irrigation system application rate. I went back to September, so you see the blue bars uh, represent the actual irrigation runtimes while the orange bars represent the recommended scheduled uh, run times, each week um, the grower uh, will get this report ahead of his normal irrigation cycle um, with our recommended run days and durations for the week to come. The, uh, the grower can follow the recommendation. They can tweak it a little bit to fit his operational needs, say, you know, with the power company, you want to, to, to stay off peak usage or, or if they've got some time of use rates um, or maybe they've got some other practices in the field that are going on. It could just be based on his experience or based on input from another advisor. Um, at the end of the week, he'll see this report come back comparing, as you see on this, this um, example here, his actual run times uh, versus those recommended, along with the information you know that I've shown on the on the previous slides, so you can see your actuals versus what was recommended, and you can see the cumulative amounts here for for the week on a per field basis. Now, this this wild looking chart down here um, is actually an image capture from our AI daily wetting front simulator, and AI being artificial intelligence. This, this simulator was developed um, using machine learning techniques to train uh, a model using over 50,000 field simulations. Uh, it was, it's honestly, it was 51,000 to be, to be exact. Um, so a lot, of, a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of expertise you know, has gone into the development of this, of this model. In this scenario, I simulated the recommended irrigation schedule. So if you look at this AL02 uh, lower field, it's the same field here that's in the simulation. And I simulated the recommended schedule. And, and the beauty of this is we're able to see the simulation versus the actual irrigation because we're looking you know, in, in the past. Um, you know, this is your, your daily irrigation hours just to kind of orient You've got the dotted lines are, are um, the uh, projected um, values and the solid lines are the actual values. So you can see the solid lines here on irrigation hours versus the dotted lines. This is from the soil moisture uh, probe at the various levels. I'm not going to go into any detail here. It'd be hard without you know, zooming in on that. And it's not really um, what's, what's most important. What's most important is this wetting front indicator. So you have inches here. This is showing how the, the water, the model predicts how the water will penetrate the, the soil based on these run times on these days. And so what you see here is not much difference, right? You see this gray area. This is um, the dotted line with the gray is the um, projected um, the simulated uh, value. Sorry, my cursor keeps disappearing. And then the dark line, the solid line with the darker shading is the actual. And it's, it's barely discernible. Um, so the model in this case did a fantastic job of predicting where that moisture um, would have landed and where it actually did land um, looking at the soil moisture probe data. This, this is one of the key tools that we will use to help determine um, recommended irrigation durations and days of the week. 
uh, for growers to help make sure the water is landing exactly um, where they where they want it to. So this is really uh, exciting, Jeff. But <clears throat> I'm thinking as a grower, if I'm watching this, <clears throat> I'm wondering, do I have to go out and buy a ton of equipment to be able to do this? No, I mean, in in our with uh, with the water services, uh, water management services that we're providing, we would uh, we would provide all of that uh, all of that uh, for you. Um, and as a matter of fact, you know, there's a lot of growers out there. We have a lot of growers out there that that do these things on their own. This the examples I'm showing here is from a grower that's uh, that's doing this uh, on on their own, and and. Honestly, it's a great indicator that they're fully invested in the technology and, and growing smarter, um, regardless of the path a grower wants to take, whether it's, it's full water management services or to act independently. You know, our team will provide the same high level of support. And, you know, on the cost side, um, you're right. You know, if you want to be independent, you simply purchase the hardware, the sensors, and there's an annual subscription fee of between three hundred fifty dollars and nine hundred eighteen dollars, depending on your application. And the subscription covers uh, the hands-on support from from your trusted uh, advisor. Well, that's that's great to know. So uh, I don't have to just do water management services. I can still do it on my own. I can still learn use the great team for all my uh, customer service, my training, uh, all that's included with my subscription fee. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's well, a good, good question. Glad you, glad you brought that, uh, glad you brought that up. This, this last slide uh, on water management services shows a, a few more reports that are, that are available. The water budget um, is created using the, the past two years of AgriLogics data for the field and uh, gives an average water consumption by by month. And you know, it's funny, a lot of people ask, yeah, that's right. Um, the satellites have been taking pictures and images and gathering data on your fields, no matter where you are for, for several years. So using this historical data, the water budget will give, really give you a good idea um, what you need to budget on a, on a monthly basis it could be working with your water district or, you know, from a planning perspective. Um, years do vary. We do see variations um, by as much as 20%, typically caused by varying weather patterns. And then you also, you need to be a little careful when you're looking at young trees, say, for example, um, versus, uh, versus mature trees in, uh, in the orchard uh, applications. As we um, this, this report here is a, is a total flow report and it can really, it's really meant to be used for things like Sigma compliance and water reporting to your, to your water agency. It's got a few other things down here that I kind of trimmed off to make it easier for people to see. And this is a report uh, that we can generate, um, as part of that service, or you can generate out of Jane logic. But you will need a flow a flow meter that is connected to uh, to to Gene Logic, and this report is called the Irrigators Report. Another another interesting um, report. You basically have irrigation sets. Um, the crop varieties here, um, not all are are entered in. Um, the irrigation method, run hours. And this, the run hours are for this period. I, I just chose the month of September. So the run hours are for September. You have applied water in inches for that period, for that one month. Applied water in inches year to date, pretty important. Volume in acre feet, again, for the period. And then year to date, acre feet. And then one of the nice features of this report is it gives you a summary at the bottom for you know any of the fields that uh, this technology um, installed in. And, and this is a good example where these values are calculated uh, based on inputs, entered values within gene logic on the irrigation system and the crops, et cetera. So this is where it's really important to work hand in hand with your 
um, trusted advisor to make sure the system is configured uh, correctly. Jeff, so all this data, <clears throat> if it has to get to a water agency, how hard is it to move over? Do I have to take a screenshot? What, what do I do to get that information to a water agency? So any of these reports, so it's, it's, it's another good question. Um, these reports were downloaded. So you, you have a choice within Gene Logic. You can, you can click the download button, which then downloads it directly to your computer, or it has an email option and um, it will email the report. It's in, it's in PDF uh, form. There's a number of other reports that you can extract to Excel if you're, if you're an Excel guy. I know we've got some, some Excel guys out there and you all know who you are. You can download the data and uh, import that into your, into your Excel spreadsheet. Wow, I can't imagine making it any easier than that to uh, report yeah. on my water use. Absolutely. All right, we've covered we've covered quite a bit um, on on the water management services, and you know, let me just do a quick summary here of what you can expect um, you know, from your water management services with Jane. You'll get a monthly water budget, a weekly um, crop water consumption with with ETC and uh, ETC uniformity and vigor images. You'll get a weekly irrigation schedule with, uh, with daily runtime recommendations. You'll also get um, weekly monitoring and reporting on water infiltration in the soil. You'll get weekly performance reports of actual um, versus recommended irrigation or water. Uh, you'll also get year-to-date applied water, various field water consumption against the actual water consumption, sorry. We'll also assess your, your technology needs on the front end and produce a design that'll meet your specific application needs. We'll provide uh, the necessary field sensors and telemetry and, uh, and then perform the installation, configuration, testing. And then finally, you know, provide continuous training. It's, it's, I think the training element is always um, sh shorted by by everyone, and it's something that that Gene is is very committed to. Our guys, we have a whole staff that will jump on a Zoom meeting or jump on your computer with you, Skype, come out face to face, whatever it is. So I, I like to refer to the training as continuous training because that's really it's really what it is. I'll tell you what I like about this, Jeff, is it's really uh, turnkey. I know that if I sign up for this, this is all I have to do. Um, right. And I will learn, I will be uh, coached, I'll be, uh, uh, I'll get the experience as I go along and I don't have to look anywhere else for that. And that's so valuable for, for me and a lot of growers is that their time will be really spent on the uh, other things they need to do and other things they need to pay attention to. And that this will, um, this will uh, naturally um, expand into, uh, into exactly what they need. Absolutely. No, that's, those, those are all great, great points. And that's certainly what we, uh, what we strive for. So we're almost to the end here. This is, this is last, but certainly, uh, not least before we get to the year end specials. Um, I wanted, I wanted to take just a minute to let everyone know that we've changed our approach along the lines of an account management strategy. It's, it's really the only way we feel we can get close enough to the customer to really make a difference. And, you know, our account managers have over 25 years of combined field experience in ag tech from, from simple soil moisture probes to complex control application they honestly have, have seen it all and, and will certainly work with you to figure it out. Um, their job is to provide hands-on personal professional service. And that, that means to me, that means face-to-face -face in the field with you every chance they get. Their, their goal, one of their biggest goals is to create at least one power user at every account and the only way that comes is through continuous training, interactions, actually using Jane Logic side by side with the user. Um, 
they are your single point of contact for everything. Now, you'll definitely interact with the entire team um, here, and that, that's important. We have a phenomenal team. But these guys are meant to be out on the front lines with you. So, so please reach out, and I'm, I'm sincere about this, reach out to them for anything you need. One of their core responsibility is to make uh, proactive um, contact with every customer on a regular basis. And I really do want to hear from any, any of our customers in, in the audience today if this is not happening. Um, I'll have my direct contact information on the last, the last page, but it, it's important to me, it's important to them, and more importantly, it's important to you. Now, behind the account managers, uh, is, there's a team behind them that is just, it's tremendous. Uh, the wealth of, of knowledge and experience on our support team in terms of technical service and, and field support is honestly, it's, it's unrivaled. I would, I would put this group against any team uh, in the industry. And the entire team is supported by the most certified company uh, by the Irrigation Association. We have nine certified irrigation designers, 11 certified agricultural irrigation specialists, and all of this is how we will earn uh, being your, your trusted advisor. All right, to the end here. So those of you that may have fell asleep uh, <clears throat> waiting, anxiously awaiting for the year-end specials. It's, uh, it's time to wake up because you definitely do not want to miss uh, some, of these, uh, some of these deals here. So on the top here, we'll start off with exclusive water management services. And I use the term exclusive because we're only going to offer this to 10 select growers for the 2021 season. And um, we're going to offer a special introductory price somewhere between $30 and $40 per acre. And that includes everything. That includes all the necessary hardware, the software, the services, installation, you know, everything that I talked about, um, you know, up to this point is, is really basically included in that. There may be some additional hardware things that you want that might be specialized um, that might cause that to vary a little bit but it really, it will be custom designed to fit your needs. And as a result, um, we're gonna limit that um, this, this first year and uh, really work hard on that partnership with, uh, with some of our most uh, select, select growers. So I'm super excited about that. Hope everybody else is as well. Um, this, this second offer here is, is pretty significant as well. So for the month of December, if you buy a C3, a telemetry unit, you'll get a one-year subscription for free. And that's a pretty significant value. That's that's an $810 uh, value. And at the end of the year, and given the times, it's uh, every penny counts. And uh, this is a way for us to to get uh, help, help, help growers and get more units out there and um, provide that first year of subscription at $810 for, um, for free for that first year. Next, you know, we've all, I think most people have heard uh, some of the unfortunate news on, on climate minder. So I won't belabor that, but I will say that we're gonna, we're making an offer to convert any climate minder sites uh, to Gene C3. You know, this is gonna give you, this is, this is where I talked about um, where's the best place to put your money, um, the most secure place to put your money. We believe it's us, um, we're gonna be here. And so for the Climate Minder customers that are out there, and we have some customers that have uh, some gene logic and Climate Minder sites. So we're gonna offer a $400 trade-in credit for any Climate Minder site. Um, and we're gonna give 20% off of any field sensor devices. You know, most of the field sensors are compatible and um, so, so you may not need, need much there or anything, but in the event you do, you may have some older sensors or need to upgrade or want to upgrade and we're gonna offer 20% uh, off on that. And that's valid through February 21st. And then we're basically offering the same thing 
that same $400 trade-in credit to all of our loyal Logic customers out there that want to upgrade their unified or PS Connect sites. And um, you know, this is good technology. It's been around a long time. There's nothing wrong with it. You can keep using it. Um, but there are, we've, we've had a number of customers that have talked to us about upgrading to the C3s. You can do some things with the C3s that you can't do with uh, the other technology and including control and, and just, just some, some special things that uh, customers are interested in. So through February, uh, 2021, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna give a $400 trade-in credit for Unifieds and PS Connects plus 20% off any field sensor. So, you know, if you've got a soil moisture probe that's been out there 12 years and you're not sure it's gonna make it through another uh, season, and you want to upgrade to the C3, this would be a great time to, to do it. So we're excited about these offers. I really would encourage everyone to, to contact your, your account manager. And if you don't know who they are, <laughs> you should definitely let me know. Um, but we're, we're super excited about it and hope these uh, offers fit with, with everybody's uh, needs. And whoops, with that, I appreciate everybody's time. Richard, thank you for letting me present today. I think it's a, an exciting topic. It's an exciting time for, for us here at Gene to be able to offer such a thing and um, look forward to hearing from all the customers. Yeah, Jeff, thank you for coming on today and doing this. This is so interesting to see what's happening uh, as far as water management and ag. This new service uh, I think is going to be a game changer and I think you did a great job explaining it very well and, uh, and most importantly, you know, showing what is available, right? There's a lot of options here for growers and, uh, and uh, they, they've got some good choices to make. And man, I love the, uh, I love the specials. I love the end of the year yeah, uh, me, options as well. Those are really- Let me put uh, those back up. Yeah, yeah, those are pretty lucrative, right? And I've always said that uh, growers are some of the best business people I've ever met in my life. And uh, I, I know they'll take advantage of that. So uh, Jeff, thank you for coming on and doing that. Uh, for those of you attending, thank you so much for attending today. We really appreciate it. We know your time's valuable and uh, we, we really appreciate the opportunity to spend this uh, lunch hour time with you. So thank you. Uh, we'll be back on uh, Friday with the uh, Outdoor Power Equipment Institute. Uh, they're going to be talking about how they can help you build uh, your, better, uh, your business a little bit better. And then uh, next week for all the ag people, you know, we've got the two founders from My Job Depends on Ag next Friday. So I know we're all really looking forward to that as well. Any of our trainings are on the JamesUSA.com website under training. You can see any of our past trainings there. We're also on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts as well. So uh, you can't get away from us. We're everywhere. So again, thanks, Jeff. Thanks to all of you. Uh, Thank have you. a great rest of the day. And uh, hopefully we'll catch most of you on, on Friday. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.